18 day old cold start. <laughs> yeah, baby. God, this thing is so loud. Oh, I missed you. What's going on, guys? We are back home. Finally, I love traveling. I love seeing new places. I love hanging out with new people and old friends and seeing amazing $5 million cars and all that. But I gotta admit, it feels really, really good to come home. Finally, good to see my family again. I miss my wife. I miss Sydney. And believe it or not, I missed this. 91 degrees and it's stupid hot at 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm still baffled by the weather in Northern California during the summer. I mean, 62 degrees. I was walking around in a hoodie three days in a row in Monterey. I mean, that it's not bad, but it, it, it's, it kind of feels like, yeah, I mean, if it was fall, but not in August. All right, we gotta go get some gas. Look, we can get 93 again, and gas is under $4. Wow. Although I don't need 93 for the truck. Good old 87. Now, she is dirty as hell, so you know your boy has to uh, clean his baby up. It's been sitting outside for over three weeks, probably rain, all kinds of weird PA vet weather, and I actually can't wait <laughs> to clean this truck. lens come on man yeah and now she's even dirtier i don't think she's been uh, this dirty in a very very long time this is just some random little muddy field i found here i don't really know of many other places to go mudding in this truck man she splashed wow yeah this is gonna be a uh, pretty deep clean here Yep, burst. Now, I was here once with the rafter right when we had gotten it. I didn't have cameras with me and all that stuff. Somehow I ended up here. I don't know how that happened. But it was, this whole place was completely muddy. So I'll definitely be taking the truck back at some point and do a proper mudding video. It is fun to go muddy and uh, just do truck stuff. Like I said, we don't have a lot of places to do that here where I live. At least not that I know of. I like it when she's dirty. Although I'm going straight home and cleaning her up. So we're back home, all the dirt and mud is all dried up. And I gotta say, she looks pretty damn beasty with a dirty look. But as much as I enjoy seeing her dirty, I do enjoy seeing her clean a lot more. Now, I knew that she was dirty before, nothing even close to this. So I had big plans on, on washing her up anyhow because this is the only vehicle that I have except for the Hoopty. So the Benz comes back, so it's actually going to be more rewarding cleaning her now when she's this dirty because it's going to be more of a difference once she's clean versus what she looks like now. So uh, yeah, we'll just start by uh, spraying her off. Yeah, 
yeah, this is uh, gonna take a while. <laughs> All right, so we got the driver's door sprayed off. But that's, that's only sprayed off. We still got tons more to go, especially the wheels and underneath the wheel wells. You see part of the frame, the one side is sprayed off. A lot of stuff to do in the undercarriage as well. You can't even see my rusty rear axle and uh, diff cover because it's so damn muddy. You can from this angle though. It almost looks better muddy than rusty. I have a new diff cover coming though, by the way. Spraying the truck off after a uh, little mudding session like this, especially the undercarriage, is no joke. I've been probably out here for an hour and a half now, so finally time to use the foam cannon. So I finally finished washing the truck. Uh, it literally took hours because I was underneath cleaning the undercarriage and so on and she looks really, really good. It looks like it's nighttime out, although it's not really yet. Because now that the truck is finally clean again, boom, we got some uh, major thunderstorms on our way here. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I mean, she's going to get wet, not dirty, but still kind of sucks. Well, good afternoon. Today is a new day. It did rain all night last night. But today it is sunny once again and extremely hot. So I did kind of forget to uh, show the undercarriage yesterday. It is pretty clean, not perfect at all, but a whole lot cleaner than it was. But since it rained all night last night, I did get a an idea. That's right. Uh, it might not make complete sense, but we are back at the off-road spot. Since it was raining yesterday, I figured that it might be a little muddier here today. And uh, yeah, we just cleaned up the truck. She's about to get even dirtier this time. I never went in this track yesterday, so I got a couple GoPros set up, one in the back and one on the hood of the truck. So uh, let's go. Whoa. Oh man, that's it. Ugh. 
What are you doing? You're playing games now? So you don't think this is fun or what? Okay. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so uh, it's kind of deep here. Oh, my baby. Baby. Oh, well, she is a child. She's it's definitely muddier here today than it was yesterday. <laughs> So there we have it. The truck is a complete mess once again. I had to take the family and show them what I was doing yesterday because they were kind of wondering why the truck looked like absolute garbage. So now it's even worse than it was yesterday. And uh, the worst part is, I don't think she really enjoyed it all that much, did you? Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> She's having orthodontic issues right now. Mommy's on her phone. Yeah, Sydney just got uh, an expander in, so she's having a little issues with her mouth. But it's all good. All right, time to go home. So there we have it. Had to take the family mudding as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not gonna enjoy cleaning it once again. I'm not gonna be filming that one though. You guys have already <laughs> seen that. But you know, I'm back in PA here. I haven't even taken this truck mudding yet since we got the new uh, setup on there and uh, I figured it was time. I enjoyed it. I don't think my family really enjoyed it though. Uh, Sydney was more on our iPad in the back and uh, my wife was texting so. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I don't know if it was worth it. You decide. If you're stopping by this channel for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.